Hi! Welcome back to my channel! This is how my hair looks like after the blowout, after the sock trend, after everything. Today is Saturday. It is the first time in like a while that's been under 80 degrees in Texas. So I want to take advantage. I have been wanting to straighten my hair ever since the haircut for a while. So why not today? That's what we're going to do today. I want to straighten it because really this is how short it gets but my hair is like this long and I haven't seen it straight in a long time even though the last time I did do it straight it was beautiful the first day the next day the humidity killed it yeah yeah but today the humidity is like what like 32% it's less than 50 we're gonna deal with it okay we're gonna deal with it and I think the whole week too it's gonna be like less than 80s or like in the 80s either way if it starts to get humid, I'll just go back to curly hair. Whatever. So I really want to do this. I'm excited. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm out of the shower. My hair is wet. I'm eating a snack. When I'm hungry, but I need some chocolate. <laughs> my boyfriend's half black. <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna do the face mask while I let my hair dry a little because it has to dry anyways for me to blow dry. So, just on my nose. Get my face wet. And then with Kiehl's Deep Earth, I'm sorry, Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. Why do they have to put so much stuff on it? Like, why can I just be poor mask? <laughs> we did not do this last Sunday, so we're gonna do it today. We're supposed to do this like twice a week. I'm supposed to do them on Wednesdays, but on Wednesdays is when I upload the. I thought I put some on my chocolate. <laughs> on Wednesday is when I upload my videos, so I don't be having time sometimes to actually take time with my skincare. So we got time today. Let's go to now. Now we're gonna leave it on for 10 minutes. It has been 10 minutes. Let's take this thing off. I always wonder why it said to like do it with the towel instead of just washing your face. But you know, who am I to say something about science? Or do you say to wipe it off with the warm towel? Who am I to do or say other one? Get this thing out. Let's see what we're working with. I almost want to just like spray it but i'm not supposed to because i'm not doing it curly today so i am just going to put in the products that i'm supposed to put in and then we're gonna let it air dry like 80 percent of it so i can go in and blow dry it now hold on to your seats because this is a long one but we gonna make it through okay As always starting off with the grow long mark anthony leaving conditioner this time i put it on my actual hands and i distributed it around my hair because i feel like that works better i don't know maybe i'm weird also helps with the detangling process so best believe i had to detangle my hair after that now, i usually don't use this because i don't put heat on my hair but i had to make sure i used the chi chai chi you know what i mean chi chai girl i don't know <laughs> what it's called you get the point i'm using that as a hair protector why am i like now this? that i finished with all the products that i'm supposed to put on my hair i'm gonna let it air dry about like 80 percent i'm gonna come back so we can start off the blow drying process i shall be there all right <laughs> it is like 75 or so percent dry i just brushed it and it just got a whole lot bigger i'm not gonna lie it feels a little rough i'm kind of scared gosh my hair be Dang it. I'm gonna do our little Ling little blow dryer. I got it for free last year so I can make a video of it. And I am so happy with it. It is, it is pink. It is so cute. Let's start. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous because I was like, ooh, how is this gonna look like? It almost felt like I kind of forgot how to straighten my hair. First and foremost, we had to make sure that my hair is completely detangled because we don't want no tangles in the brush. Now, there's no easy tutorial for this. You do it however you want to. However, I personally, because my hair is curly and because my roots are the ones that got the curly or the, the fastest, I like to go like this. I don't know what that is called. Clockwise 
counterclockwise. You know, again, you get the point. You see what I'm doing. And then for volume, I like to do it both sides. So I did it for, from like, I, I, listen, English was not my first language. I don't know how to describe these things. I guess from the top, we're gonna call this the top, you know, brushing it from the top. And then the other way is brushing it from the bottom. Okay, this is the bottom. We're gonna work with that. Now, please don't ask me why I'm doing this like this on all of them looking like Lord Fork, Fork Walk, whatever the heck that Lord name is from Shrek. I'm sorry, I have the giggles and I feel like I'm just making a mess of this voiceover. But we will keep it together, okay? We'll keep it together. Now, learn from my mistakes because of the fact that I was using a little bit too much hair, my hair at the end ended up being like really big and voluminous. So it's really up to you however you wanna do it. Usually, you, you should put a little bit less hair because you see right now, there's a whole bunch of hair, girl. There's a whole bunch of hair that you're using and at the end, like I said, it's gonna be huge. But if that's what you're going for, then do this. If you want it a little bit more straighter, you use a whole lot less hair. But what I usually do is from the start is I usually, like I said, I do it from the top to make sure that it gets straight on the roots. And then from the bottom is what gives it more of a volume. I don't know if I said this already, but let's not worry about why my hair is all different sizes. Like why is this size shorter i mean longer than the one on this on the right don't know also i was making a tiktok video with this too so a lot of the times you're not going to see like the full full thing of it because i had to have some video for the tiktok also because um your girl does not have a camera okay she ain't no vlogger she ain't no content creator yet she ain't got money for a camera for to record one thing on the camera and then another thing on the on the phone we use the phone for everything okay you know if you know you know it really doesn't matter if you have a lot of hair like right now like i had a lot of hair down but if you use it little by little like as you can see obviously i can't put all that junk of junk not junk all the chunk of hair in the brush so i only get enough hair to you know what i mean to it for it to fit on the actual brush now on this one since it's kind of getting closer to the top of my hair i like to go a little slower to make sure that like the blow dryer you know what i mean the heat of it actually gets there and I also use it as a brush as you're seeing it right now. Once it gets closer to my face frame and stuff, I like to do it this. I like to do it sideways and always pushing back, like away from my face. Because it'll give you that illusion, like that like 2000s, like 90s vibe in the back. And then this is the best thing. What's cool about this is long hair, short hair, whatever, it still works as you can see. Now this is raw, real footage. Like I had to go through this a couple of times. You don't have to if you don't want to. I personally, because again, my hair is curly and I have a lot of it. I need to go through it a couple of times to get to the desired look that I personally like. But what also is cool about this is like, after everything is dry, I just go on and do this for like styling purposes. You know what I mean? Like the hair is already dry, but you see this, okay, do not play with me. Now this is the fun part. Once it gets to the top top, I always leave my front hair, like my bang area off so I can do that at the end and then just break it in the middle on the top and just do that side separately. You know, you gotta get that hair away from your face because we don't want it to get all up in the way. Not me using the camera as like a mirror when I have a mirror right in front of me. You know, listen listen i feel like it's very important to definitely make sure you're brushing your hair because as you saw i brushed my hair before i started all of this and i had to brush it as i went in on every single part of the hair because it gets tangled on the top of my hair instead of just going straight down i like to do it like diagonally like i'm doing it right now to make sure i have that like little swoop and always do it like away from my face so when the, the the hair is finished and everything like that it's going away from my face not in front of it as you can see my hair is kind of pretty big and this is what i mean by you have to use a little bit less hair each time because then it'll, this, this is what it would happen and this is what i mean that i always have to make sure i do it right at the root because you see the root area how it's curly and the end of the hair on that junk of hair is straight you know what i mean so i always have to do this motion keep like twirling it on my roots to make sure that i get the roots straight you know you know what i mean once everything is dry and everything i do this like i said for styling purposes just so i can get that swoop like on the way like look at that you can't tell me nothing ma'am okay now it's time for the actual front of my hair honestly this is like my favorite part about this whole thing because it ain't nothing like that beautiful swoosh like you push your hair back and your hair just falls right on like on its place mm. i like to start off going back 
away from my face like this so I can get that root of my hair straight first. I do it a couple of times to make sure. And then this is for volume. Then you move it forward up and down girl listen you go everywhere with this hair okay as you can see and like look at that oh uh, uh, come on now don't play with her look at that i liked it however i was like man this thing is huge because again for the third time i used too much hair like i've used too much junks of it so what i was trying to do is i was trying to go in and kind of like calm it down a little bit kind of like style it a little bit you know calm that beast down a bit okay But you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me she look cute. You can't tell me her hair is not volume scrum delicious. Do not play with me. But a little too big for my taste. So what we did was we got this Volker, Volker, girl. Oh, girl, I am struggling today. I think it's called Volcro. Listen, dumb rollers that stick by itself, dumb things. P.S. I got them at the thrift shop for $2. God is good. So I was like, you know what? Let me try this. So what I did is, is on the pink ones, which are the biggest ones, I just put them around my hair. Now, the trick on these rollers is kind of like to brush my hair like I just did with the rollers and then just roll it up. I don't have like the right clips, you can say, to put it in there. So I use these big old clips. Okay, listen, don't judge me. You got to do what you, what you got to do. This is the thing that I was telling you about that I was like brushing my hair with the vulgar... <laughs> <laughs> with the roller so it can actually stick to the hair i would say it's easier than it looks but i really had to redo them like two or three times at a time it's just practice it really is just practice because i learned my lesson in using too much hair when i was blow drying it i was trying to do my best and like trying to get a little bit of hair each time on this roller now the hair on the top I was putting it away from my face because if you put it towards your face it's not gonna give you that same effect and then also because of the roots are like away from your face it's gonna give you that big volume on the front front of my hair again this time for example I had a little bit too much hair but I still made it work on this area as you can see I was trying to do it up and it was not working so what I saw that it worked better is when I do it front like this it gives me more of a grip and it makes the hair go a lot easier now you roll that thing up put it with a clip whatever we can find and then here it is don't don't, don't mind me struggling with the clip okay as i was looking at it i was like okay i feel like i have a lot of hair in the bottom still so i still wanted to do a little bit more however i ran out of clips so i was like you know these rollers work like this look boom don't need nothing to stick it with it okay here we go I really like the hair to be like all styled like that around my pretty much from my ears up because you see now it's a whole lot less hair and it works better because of the fact that I had stopped blow drying my hair for a while the hair kind of cooled down a little bit and for the rollers to work your hair kind of either has to be wet or actually has to be like warmed up so this is my way of almost like cooking my hair <laughs> cooking my hair to make sure that those rollers stick together this is something that i came up with a while ago when i had long hair on the sides that i'm not putting rollers on i like to do this little twist because for whatever reason it still makes it curly like you will see at the end it works i try to use a satin little scrunchie i just twist it and away from me always i'm twisting away from my face i twist it in this little area tie it up with a satin um, little scrunchie and I leave it on for a couple of hours. And this is how I look like, looking like I don't know what, but it works. All right, so it has been a little bit of over like an hour or so. It's time to take these out. Now, I just walked Chanel, so it may be a little frizzy. Usually I would just blow dry it a little bit more right now, but whatever, it is what it is. If it's gonna get frizzy, it's gonna be frizzy. Now you get to see why I do the little twist on the bottom of my hair because look at that. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. The only thing I don't like about these rollers is that that thing be hurting sometimes. Like this one was fine. It came out perfectly fine. But some of them be like, ooh, girl, hold up. Like this one right here. Like, ooh, that thing gets stuck. What I like to do is I hold the hair at the root and then... It gets easier like it's almost like I'm not really pulling my hair like that 
but i'm telling you these rollers after a blowout is like the best thing in the world and the good thing is that no matter how your hair is short or not it still works i am the proof <laughs> Look, this one got stuck, stuck, as you can see. And <laughs> that thing actually hurt. Like, ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. It almost feels sometimes, too, like if you don't take it out correctly, it won't have that, like, little swoosh. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like that, for example. You know? You know. We're going to use our little... Good old dandy, can't even see my eyes. Coconut oil, yeah. Thank you for the person who, <laughs> thank you for the person who commented on my last video telling me not to use too many because of our curl hair, it's, it's already oily enough. Heard, thank you, Miss Ma'am. Okay, volumicious, volumicious. Whatever, you get the point, you don't tell me. I need to, like, I don't want to brush it, but, like, I need something. Okay, I am loving it. The volume is just beautiful. I'm surprised it's not as frizzy as I thought it would be since I just walked my dog outside. But... Oh, it's giving. Oh, shit, it's giving. <laughs> I always have to make sure on this part because it's usually the one that gets the most frizzy. So this is how it's looking like right now. I'm going to let it chill for a little bit. And then before I go to bed, we're going to figure out how I'm going to go to bed with it so it doesn't lose the volume, the straightness, the lusciousness. I love it. Time to go to sleep. I'm tired. My hair is getting a little frizzy and I haven't even left. I don't, I don't, I really don't understand my hair. But I was looking on TikTok to see how I can preserve the blowout and I saw this little sock thing. I'm gonna use my boyfriend's Twitch socks. People usually have like the flexi rods and put them inside the, the sock, but I don't have any flexi rods. So we're gonna just try to do regular socks. And pray for me because my hair is really, really short and I don't know how in the world this is gonna happen, but we're gonna try this out. So what they did was half the hair. The top will be fine. I just don't know about the bottom because my hair is short. But let me just put a clip. Bear with me, I have never in my life ever done this before. So we're doing this together. thing was they just put the hair up. I might do I have a lot of hair? I think I put, have too much hair but we're gonna make it work. Just gonna push it brush it forward. I'm so scared of this this guy's gonna look like in the morning. And then I guess with the sock We're gonna make it work. I don't know, this is gonna, I feel like whatever. This is why obviously the flexi rods are needed and my hair is really short, so it's like, oh, oh goodness. Oh, oh goodness, hold on, hold on. We're gonna have to redo this again. <gasps> what? <laughs> Let's try again, but with, like with less hair then. Let's just do this top, just a little after my ear. Let's just go little by little because that was kind of scary. Oh, oh, oh. 
it's gonna go up again. Oh, okay. You know what? We're just gonna let that be. We're gonna, we're gonna go to bed anyways, who cares? And then the back. I feel this is gonna be so big in the morning, but whatever. I'll put a little bit here. Why are they not, not even the same? We, we're just going to ignore that. We're going to ignore that. Should I just bobby pin it? Like, I don't know what to do with this. You know, work with what we got, okay? I don't know. I never done this before. So, we're going to use a little scarf. See what we can do with this. I'm hoping that this will kind of just adjust it to the point that, like, You know what I mean? Like, I'm just gonna pull it back in. Okay, well, let's, let's do this one again. Dang it, this thing. I mean, it's doing its job. Okay, this feels a lot tighter this time. It feels better this time. You know what? You, you gonna stay back there and then Back are gonna be in the front, whatever. And then, as always, we're gonna put our little bonnet on. Oh my gosh, I am so nervous for tomorrow. How in the world is this gonna look like in the morning? Either way. We shall see this. We always go through this together. Okay, y'all pray for me. Even though by the time y'all pray, in the next couple of seconds, it's gonna be a transition and we're gonna be, it's gonna be in the morning. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Please ignore my puffy face. I literally just opened my eyes, but I'm ready to take this thing out because it's kind of itchy on the sides. So as always, let's go through this together. It actually didn't move at all throughout the night, but this just came out, so whatever. Let's start. Let's start with the back. Let's start with the back. Okay, let's see the front. <laughs> I am so here for it. Obviously, it needs to like relax for a second, but the idea of it. I'm doing this like a very like if I have curly hair behind me. <laughs> I don't know how to act with straight hair anymore. Obviously, I have to work with it, but I am so here for it. Obviously, throughout the day and everything, it'll calm down. But the idea of it is absolutely. It doesn't look frizzy. I mean, it was just. <laughs> I feel like just like the curly hair, it just it just needs some time to get used to it being out of the sock. But hey, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. If I brush it and everything, I don't want to brush it right now. I just want to leave it like this as much as as long as possible. But I know I can work with it. I can definitely work with it. So much volume. I am so happy. And this is the end of the video. This is how my hair looks like after the blow up, after the sock trend, after everything. You would have to follow me on social media to see how it looks like throughout the day. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.